Oh, I know what tribe I'm from. No, no, no. But when you realize that the United Nations and other places like, hey, hey, what, what's going on with our folks over there? Now you got a nation fighting for it. And when you engage in your history, you realize the greatness that lies before you, not behind you, in front of you. Because then you realize how great you can be because of who was great behind you. And they push you into great, uh, 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 greatness. That's what time it is. See, but if you don't want to embrace your ancestry, how can you ask your ancestors and the people who are relatives of yours to stand up and fight for you? And you don't even want to be known as an African. You want to be known as American, and then you want to be known as a second-class citizen. Like, this brother approached Malcolm X once, and Malcolm X said, he said, you're a black man. He said, no, nah, I'm a Negro. I ain't no black man. He said, so you're a Spanish black man. So you want to be called a Spanish black man. See what I'm saying? You don't know nothing about yesterday, so you can't know anything or find a way to get going for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's just crazy. It's just raw dog crazy. Let me see. I have to risk my safety right now. This election exposed exactly how dark and deep the hatred is. The, the hatred lives in this country. We got this dude out, but the biggest story is we got to get millions of vote. Just got millions to vote to get, keep them in. Go view my Facebook page. I'm pissed and doing. Uh, I'm pissed doing this during this election. That's my man Ray care. Exactly. Philando Castile happened a uh, year before that, and exactly, and we know what happened. Philando Castile gets murdered on TV. Nobody speaks up for him. The governor didn't speak for him. The mayor didn't speak for him. The city council didn't speak for him. The state senator didn't speak for him. Nobody spoke up for him. And he, he dead as elves, man. And nothing happened. Brother, out of here. Brother, out of here. And and ain't nobody gonna say nothing. Sister Breonna Taylor, they gave her mom some, they gave her parents some, uh, uh, some money. Don't, even, don't nobody want no damn money, man. We want Breonna back now. Bring her back. But nobody's talking about that. These people murder us and kill us in the street. Our senators don't speak up. The governor don't speak up. All these elected officials who are supposed to be representing us and you don't say anything. They don't say a damn thing. You disengage, you, get, you engage, get their ass put out, put out of office and engage and get money. Money's put in your uh, 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 community. Where you can have your own property and stop just buying buildings. Buy the land that the buildings sit on. That's when they can't enforce that eminent domain situation because you just own the area. You don't you own above ground, you don't belong below. Notice that. And like I said, we gotta connect with the members of our ancestors. You know, stop living with the propaganda, man. Africans don't like us. How you gonna speak for a whole 54 countries? Of people. Oh, because I bumped into this one African and he ain't like me. And you bumped into a black dude that ain't like you the next day. So you Americans don't like you? It's foolishness, man. You know a bunch of people that don't like you. You don't put that on the oh man. You go to Detroit. Hey man, I got into some dudes in Detroit. Detroit people don't like Chicago people. Chicago people don't like Atlanta people. Atlanta people don't like LA. Stop it. Stop letting people who you don't know create narratives that you don't know where they come from, tell you what's going on in your life. We do it all the time with each other. Oh, man, I don't like H. Rap. Oh, why? Because he's this and this and that. And then you come into my show, I say something that you possibly might not like. Yeah, you were right. H. Rap is that type of guy. You ain't listen to nothing I said. And then again, I am a lot of that stuff that people say because I don't give a hot goddamn whether you like me or not. Nah, that dead is. You like me cool if you don't. That's good too, man. I ate last night. I had me a little cocktail. I got people in my life that love me and care about me. And if you don't like me, that's that sucks to be you because I'm trying to help you, fool. But anyway, man, but connect to your ancestors, man. Learn something about the continent. Engage with Africans. Engage with Jamaicans. Engage with Caribbean. Engage with Africans, no matter if you're bilingual or not. Whether if you from this place called the United States or not, because guess what? All you have to do is engage them, brother, and you'll find out that you got way more in common than they than you don't. Like this, this whole thing, fun foundational Africans. I mean African Americans. 
foundational. Stop it. And these these are some people who I actually respect. Oh man, you don't want to split the reparations up with the people. But how about this? We need to be attacking every nation on the European on the European continent. We need to be attacking all these people here in the United States of America and any place else that enslaved our ancestors. And then we all need to be getting reparations. But nah, y'all want to separate yourselves again and create a, a foolish term called foundational African Americans. Really? So you're going to separate yourself again instead of you back to the fingers, never the fist. Because you're not connected with the members of your ancestry, man. People in the Caribbean, I was talking to a sister, oh, she's a sister from the NOI, uh, in the meeting last night. And she was saying that it's a lot of brothers and sisters. I mean, it's a lot of Asians moving down to Jamaica, opening up stores. We need to be working with the Jamaican community so we can get send some down there to make 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 it possible for we only shopping with the brothers and sisters stores down there. Just like we need to be doing that here. Oh man, the world ain't like that. Yes, it is. Again, I got to do. Y'all know I got this show coming up. Uh, Rapping with Age Rap, a living history of the Black community. I got this brother. Rev. James Don II coming on, and he, he, he uh, hopefully he tell that story to y'all too. But he tell the story to me about how he used to go to the store for a Jewish lady. She used to get him extra money to walk the extra two blocks to go to the Jewish store. Yeah, that was a, a bunch of years ago. But you outside your damn mind if you don't think that happens to this day. And it's nothing wrong with it, man. It's nothing wrong with it. You know. I had a good brother by the name. I ain't gonna say his name. I got a good brother. Once told me I can't only shop at uh, 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 with black people because I want good food. I said, also, oh, black people can't get, get, make good food. No, I don't mean it like that. Yes, you did. Because you have been brainwashed into believing what you bring to the table is not as good as what other people bring to the table. He know who he is. He listening. My man. But he said it. But that's because you allow the TV to tell you what's going on in your life. You allow the TV to tell you black on black crime is out of control. But black on black crime is no different than white on white crime. Black on black crime, 91% of people that look like me hurt people that look like me. But 89% of people who are from the white community hurt people from the white community. And so forth and so on. Now, if we was talking about 91 and 55, then we have a conversation. 91 and 71. We have a conversation, but if we were in the classroom, I got a, I got a 91 on the test, you get an 89 on the test, we get the exact same grade. But we don't, but we allow people who don't like us, who don't care about us, who don't have nothing invested in us to tell us how we should or should not think, how we should or should not feel about certain things, which is crazy. But that's because you're not engaging with your neighbor. You're not engaging with the people down the block. You're not engaging with people who look like you from another country. And you don't understand, and they don't understand. And it's not just people who live in the United States of America that feel that way. But you got people up north of the border, they getting discriminated against. You got people south of the border who look like us getting uh, uh, discriminated against. You got people in the Gulf of Mexico, Aruba, uh, 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 the Caribbean, all throughout the Caribbean, Cuba, and all other places throughout the, United, throughout the entire world. They are doing the same thing. They are experiencing the same tyranny that we're experiencing, but you're so busy caught up in your sprained ankle that you won't realize everybody everybody that look like you got a sprained ankle. Everybody who look like you got a broken leg. Everybody, you know, we all struggling. So how about this? If if we are from the largest continent on the face of the earth and we have the greatest population on the face of the earth, because we're really the global majority. It's more people on the face of the earth that look like me and you than look like anybody else. If once, the, once we come to the realization that that's what's going on in this world, we will work together and we can dominate. But until the end, up until and including that moment, I'm going to still work together. But I'm not trying to convince anybody because you want to have that fight, have that fight with somebody else, argue amongst yourselves, with me and the good brothers and sisters, we're going to get together and we're going to create our own thing. And again, please listen to the end of the show because that's what's important. Again, if you don't listen to anything else I say, End the show right now. Wait to the end. Take about 15 minutes and listen to the last 15 minutes of the show and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. But we must, again, must connect with the people who look like us. We must 
connect with our ancestral uh, uh, roots so we'll know the people in the Caribbean, the people in Guyana. Like, it's one of the biggest activists for our community uh, in the hip-hop community. His name is Lord Jamar. Lord Jamar is not a city. He's, his family is not descendants of slaves. He's from Guyana, South, South America, like my man, uh, Mars Noel. He was on the show before. Uh, so, but he's standing up fighting. Malcolm X's mother is not a descendant of a, a North America, a, a United States slave. She's from Grenada. See, these are, so does Malcolm X not deserve it? As hard as he fought and gave up his life, he don't deserve no money, no harm. But see, this is what I'm saying. We keep separating ourselves. You don't know your history. You don't know your ancestral roots. Then you have these silly ass conversations. And the brother who started that term, I believe, I'm not going to damn him for starting the term, but the brother, the first brother I know who, 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 who's, who's spearheading that term, I should say, one of the people that spearheading that term, is a brother who's well read. He's giving us mad information. And he, he came up with that idea. And I'm not going to knock him for it because that's my next point. We are going to stop. We're going to have to stop publicly criticizing each other in front of the masses, man. Because when you say this person is a sucker or a clown or a buffoon or because he got a different opinion than you, what we need to do is start calling these people and addressing them directly. The thing is, social media is a beautiful thing. You get to meet people that you probably never would have met before. And engage with people that you probably would never engage in before, but we can't have arguments on social media anymore because it's this term called white fishing. Y'all heard of catfishing when you're a man pretending to be a, a woman, and then you get dudes to fall in love with you, and yada yada yada, and vice versa for women. But it's a thing called black fishing now. When you got people put up black avatars, you know they find some black person's face and put it on their avatar, and then. They start speaking in, in, in our language. This is the first time in the history of the world that we where white people could peek in and see what we're cooking with. That's why you got people like Rachel Dolezal. That's why you got other dudes. Every week they find some white dude who was on Twitter pretending to be a black dude speaking down to the black community from the uh, holy pulpit of, uh, of uh, 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 what is it called? My... Uh, uh, when you, when you think you're holier than that, I can't think of the word right now. But it don't make a difference. You speak it from that Paul Pick. Nah. You, see, but, but you've given people the secret sauce. And I ain't just come up with this just now. Because I remember I'm sitting there listening to my son and his homeboy, Willie, and his homeboy, uh, 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 Michael, and, and, and Dof, 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 Dofon. And they, 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 got their little, they got their little cool sayings and everything. And then they start talking about how this guy from another community asked them what that meant. And that guy from another community asked them what they meant. And I just stopped them. I, you know, I said, hey, did y'all tell, did they tell y'all, when they speak in the native language, did they tell y'all what they talking about? They be like, no. I said, so why? Y'all created y'all own little slang, y'all own little dialect. Why y'all telling them? I know it's cool, but it's not cool. Because you know what? It was cool to share jazz and all the nuances of jazz. And guess what? Jazz is not us anymore. It was cool to share rock and roll and the nuances of rock and roll. And when you think rock and roll, you don't think Chuck Berry, Little Richard, Fast Domino. You think loud guitars and and you don't think Jimi Hendrix. You think uh, 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 Rolling Stones who stole their name. And, 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 and it, you don't think about us. Now you got uh, the, the lady, the fat white lady. She she the face of R&B now. And uh, 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 no disrespect to it, man. I heard she could sing her ass off. But how's she the face of R&B now? Man? And Gladys Knight still living. And, 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 and a bunch of other sisters that went, uh, well, she jazzed mostly. But, you know, uh, 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 Anita Baker's still alive. Mary J. Blige and all these people still alive. You got that white lady, the face of R&B, man. And, and 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 if you if you like what you like, but it's just you can't be. We we keep doing it, man. Most pop, the best hip hop artist in the world is Eminem. Nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. See, hip hop is rebel culture. See, the only reason they ain't gonna be able to take over hip hop is hip hop is rebel culture. The whole culture is rebellion. So as soon as you say something is hip hop, go no, it ain't. Nah, 
if if Chuck D said, we roll it. But when mainstream.